Hi, my name is Courtney and today I will be using heat transfer source pattern and matte heat transfer vinyl. I will be placing this image that I have already uploaded into Design Space and sized on a baby bodysuit. The purple section or the deer will be where I will have the pattern vinyl and the name will be black matte HTV vinyl. One thing that's a little bit different for the pattern vinyl is it does not come with a carrier sheet. So we need to cut this a little bit different than we do normal HTV vinyl. So let's hit make it. For the deer, we need to place the vinyl on the mat, pretty side up, and we will not mirror our image as it does not have the carrier sheet. But our project also has matte HTV vinyl that you will want to mirror. So we hit the mirror button for that and we can hit continue. Remember we do not mirror our image when we are cutting the pattern vinyl. And it goes on your mat design side up. Now we're cutting the matte heat transfer vinyl. The heat transfer source HTV is cut with the mirror. Mirror your image and you put the shiny side down on your mat. Now we're going to weed our vinyl pieces. First I'm weeding the pattern. As you can see, the part that we want on the shirt is here on the bottom. So we're going to need a transfer mask or carrier sheet. What I like to do is, if it's a sticky carrier sheet that came out of off of a different type of vinyl, this is from a HTS glitter. Actually, no, this is yes, HTS glitter. It's really sticky yet. I saved it from an old project, and you put that on there. to put it onto your shirt. Now it's very similar to adhesive. You're just using that to put it in place. Because you want that white side down on your item. And if you forget to weed out a piece, now it's ready to be placed onto our shirt. I always use a Teflon sheet whenever I iron on. And today I'm deciding to use my mini press to get everything stuck where I want it stuck. If I do use my EHE press, I usually put a silicone mat in it so that it gets raised up and the seams go down. But for today, being that I'm just doing one, I thought this would be a little easier. Make sure you get enough pressure. You look close so you can see that you can see the design of the thread through it. We're gonna place the name on here. Press that down as well. And I press the last press, I put a little bit longer just to make sure everything's tacked down good and we got our a total of 30 seconds on the vinyl. There we go. For more tutorials like this, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the bell to be notified of all new tutorials. Thanks again everyone.